it's not like Bitcoin's going away, but yeah. there is a finite amount, and at some point there yeah, will so be no more. When you say expire, you mean the supply is about to is going totally. To, there's yeah. no central bank printing more money. Right. Think of it that way. Yeah. Uh, there's no monetary system that's like, hey, let's let's inject the economy with with more tokens. Yeah. That's not possible. It's impossible. Right. So so the code is inherently such that uh, eventually you will not be able to buy any more new Bitcoin. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. There, therefore, the scarcity uh, will probably lead to higher price maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> officially or unofficially yeah i don't know <laughs> we're back at the bar bro because <laughs> <laughs> i mean okay one way scarcity happens is that people hold bitcoin buy bitcoin it becomes more proliferated right. we transact with it and therefore it's harder to get our hands on bitcoin but we still want it right and it keeps rising in value so you want to invest with it right so that's one way so the yes. worst way though no the <laughs> worst way is governments who are mining bitcoin by the way including yeah. the chinese uh, they just keep holding and holding. Oh, whales, so, yeah, whales so hold me, Bitcoin. Right. So talk to me about that. Like, how are governments affecting the supply and the dynamics? Well, right now you can look it up. Which governments are holding Bitcoin, transacting in Bitcoin? 